The 3F AX Weapon Stabilizer is a massive leap forward in AX technology that has made an interesting splash in the market since its arrival. The optional internal is affordable, easy to find throughout the bubble, and small enough to integrate readily into most ships that would need it. It represents the first time any ship has been able to fit more than four dedicated AX weapons and opens the door to some impressive new capabilities. The 3F Stabilizer nets an additional AX weapon slot at the cost of additional weight and power draw. With 8 tons total mass, the weight is inconsequential to most builds, but at size 3, commanders will be sacrificing hull or module protection to fit this item, with a few possibly relocating a limpet controller. The biggest downside here is power draw. At 1.5 megawatts, the module is demanding to run, drawing slightly less power than a size 3 shard cannon. Most Guardian-oriented shipbuilds run into power constraint issues with just four weapons equipped, so packing this module in alongside an additional Guardian weapon is likely to be a stretch for medium ship armored reactors. An overcharged or Guardian-derived power plant is a possible workaround, though at the cost of making your power plant more fragile. You may be surprised to learn that the stabilizer does not have an active power priority field, and cannot be switched on or off. It's slave to your ship's main power, and is always on once equipped. This part sits near the bottom half of the module tab, alongside other similar modules, like the cargo rack and planetary approach suite. I did not see it take damage during my tests, so it may be one of the rare modules that can't be damaged directly, much like cargo racks. The crate was an obvious starting point for stabilizer tests, and it feels awesome in surface port defense operations. This build leveraged three AX multi-cannons paired with two Guardian shard cannons. While it won't be giving any goids, this build felt crispy against low and mid-tier interceptors, without putting much stress on the distributor or power plant. As ship builds specialize into this new tech, we'll see a lot more powerful examples of what is possible. The 3F stabilizer sits at an interesting place in the module ecosystem right now. It's definitely a hot ticket item, like anything new, though it does face competition from the various supporting weapons, like the AX flak launcher and laser hardpoints that many commanders already have equipped, and which have earned their current position in the damage metas. While most of my builds have already dropped flak launchers, many of the smaller hardpoints are harder to justify swapping especially when the only options available for them are high-draw Guardian weapons. For example, after some tinkering with my Type 10, I found I prefer it with its standard 4AX hardpoint loadout. That platform in particular struggles to use Guardian weapons, with most builds leveraging four large AX multi-cannons for primary damage. Adding a stabilizer to the ship doesn't grant enough additional damage to make a big impact. Even with the imminent arrival of the large stabilizer, I doubt this ship's weapon setup will be changing all that much. My Anaconda, however, eagerly awaits the large variant of this stabilizer. Altogether, the stabilizer we do have is a significant improvement in the overall AX ecosystem, providing for the possibility of much increased damage output, or for more varieties of damage output, depending on the individual commander's preferences. While the available supporting weapons add some nuance to the equation for specific builds, any ship with five or more hardpoints should take a look at what this equipment can do. For an overview of what ships stand to benefit the most, see my AX Ships to Watch for video. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.